All right, join the show. We have Troy Reader, former linebacker of Delaware, now Rams linebacker. How's it going, man? Thanks so much for coming on. Going well. I'm so excited to talk to you. And just to start this off, we just want to hear a little bit about how you got into the game of football. Yeah, um, my dad was a football player. Um, he played for University of Delaware like I did and uh, played for the Pittsburgh Steelers. So football has always kind of been a part of our family and uh, what we do. Uh, it's been a big part of my life since I was just a little baby growing up and then started playing in, in third grade and then uh, kind of fell in love immediately with it and uh, just took off from there. Yeah, of course, man. And, um, you know, growing up, who was your uh, favorite player, you know, player in the NFL you looked up to the most? Um, You know, I had a couple that were tough. I'd say growing up, my childhood would be LaDainian Tomlinson. Yeah, and uh, when it came time for you to play in college, you ended up playing at Delaware. I mean, what was your overall there? Um, so I originally was at, I spent my first two years at Penn State. Um, so I spent some time there. I started my redshirt freshman season. And then uh, I decided to come back and uh, play transfer to Delaware uh, because my brother, who's two years younger than me, committed to play at Delaware and I wanted to play football with him. Something we grew up doing and you, know, you only have one opportunity to make that happen in life and i just went with my gut and left penn state even though i had a good start to my college career there and finished up at delaware playing uh i played inside linebacker and my brother played outside linebacker right next to each other that's awesome man you know especially you know you you mentioned you start your uh, college career at Penn State, you transfer and everything, and the reason for transferring, and just the fact that you have some uh, some bloodlines, uh, you know, in that family mm-hmm. that you know re- result in football. But um, you know, I kind of want to ask you, you know, from your time at Delaware, um, if you had to, what would be, what would you call your one shining moment um, while at Delaware? Um, you know, I think just culmination of all our work um over the past few years that um i was a captain my junior and senior year those were being elected for the first time as a as a junior captain i think was probably one of my proudest moments and this this past season uh we got our team into the playoffs um after a pretty long drought that started long before i had transferred into delaware and just getting that program back going on the right direction. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, I just want to ask a little bit about what was the pre-draft process like for you? Um, it was, it was exciting. Um, definitely fun. Got to meet a lot of really great people, work with, uh, some great players and, uh, great coaches. Um, I was down in Florida for a little while training at Bomberito Performance, and while I'm home, I train at a place called Titus Sports Academy, which is in Newark, Delaware, and, uh, you know, both of those places, it just, it's nice to be able to work with uh, a bunch, a group of guys that just have similar goals to you, um, aspiring to reach the same level of uh, professional football, so, you know, I got I thought that was a great experience. And then you're working with some of the best coaches in the business and uh, both positionally and uh, speed, strength, conditioning type of components. So, you know, it was, it was a fun process. Yeah, it must have been. But, um, you know, throughout the process, if, if you could really pick one thing, um, what would you say you most improved on as far as your game is concerned? Um, game wise, I think, uh, one thing that I really focused on just, I mean, kind of the nature of training in the off season, uh, especially now as a professional athlete is, you know, you're not hitting in the off season, you're taking care of your body. And a lot of the things that we were doing through the pre-draft process that I carried over, um, all the way through the winter and the spring and then, um, 
right now is uh, really training as a def- as a defensive back. So when I was down in Florida, we had a large group of uh, DBs, corners, and safeties, and uh, pretty much every day I just was hopping in with them, doing their skill work. Um, and I figure if you can cover like a safety, you'll be all right at linebacker. So different stuff like that. And uh, we had a really good DB coach named EJ Biggers who played for uh, several seasons in the NFL. Um, and obviously he's, he was a DB, so that was where a lot of his uh, expertise lied. So just getting that kind of um, teaching and uh, reps under that kind of teacher at a different style was, uh, I think, really good for me. Yeah, and, uh, you know, when the draft ended, you end up being a UDFA. I mean, what was that whole 24-48 hour period like um, once the draft ended? And did you have, uh, when was it that you had contact with the Rams? Um, you know, it's a, it's an interesting 24-48 hours. You know, obviously you have an idea going in uh, where you see yourself going, but ultimately, you know, that's, the work leading up to the draft is in your control, but draft day is really out of your control. So, you know, I knew going into the draft that the Rams were a great situation uh, for me. Uh, phenomenal coaching staff and uh, a, a really good place that I saw an opportunity for me to grow as a player and uh, start off my career on the right foot. So, you know, for, for things to end up the way they did and I ended up, uh, a Ram drafted or undrafted was uh, really a really good situation that worked out well. And uh, now I'm just excited, waiting around at home now for uh, ready to get the opportunity to go out there and, and play and learn under some really good guys. Yeah, I definitely hear you there. And I just kind of want to go back to, um, you know, right after the draft, I mean, I just want to get your thoughts on, you know, there's really two ways you can kind of look at it. I mean, you could want to sign with the team immediately or kind of, you know, take everything in and wait till your fit kind of comes. But, you know, how did you really process all of that? You know, um, I had a plan uh, going into the day with um, if the draft ended and I wasn't picked where I felt like was the best situation for me. And then, um, as that, as the day rolled on, like you just kind of take a peek at who's, who's taken some, who's taken picks, um, at your position or anything like that. And you begin to adjust and, uh, it's pretty analytical. And, uh, some of it is just part of your gut, a good gut feeling. And, um, for me, the Rams at the end of the draft were the best, um, the best situation I thought for myself and that's that's not necessarily for every person but um you know when it comes down to it and you're making a really big life decision uh there's a lot of a lot of things that go into it a little faith some of your guts and then just you know some expertise of uh the the friends family agency that you surround yourself with and in helping make that decision and for me, luckily, it was it was a pretty quick decision. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, we're, we're very excited that you ended up in L.A. Ram and are so excited to see what you do. And, uh, you know, NFL Rookie Minicamp is coming up. I mean, what are you most excited about as uh, you go to minicamp? I'm just excited to go compete now. Um, it's just been since, since my season was over, you know, it's just been a, a steady grind of just, you know, a lot of things that weren't football related and, uh, some of them were, some of them weren't, but, you know, a lot of training, a lot of hours putting in on your own uh, with a group. And now it's finally time to just go play football. And, and that's, that's the sport I love. And don't get me wrong. I love the training. I love the, uh, the grind and getting, getting ready to play the season, but there's still just nothing that quite compares to being able to go out there and play real football. Yeah. You know, I, I definitely think you have really hit the nail on the head on that one. I mean, it's, you know, we've talked to uh, a couple of your new teammates and, 
<clears throat> you know, really, it just is, y- you guys, I mean, this is the longest kind of, you know, waiting period I think you guys have kind of experienced since this draft process started and then ended. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, it must be kind of weird not being around any type of, you know, football-related activities, kind of just waiting now, uh, you know, for the mini camp. Um, but uh, I got, you know, I got to ask you um, to kind of close this out. Um, you know, to the Rams listeners, what are the Rams getting in Troy Reader as a player, and what are they getting, you know, in you as a person off the field? Um, you know, for me, I I take a lot of pride in my work ethic. Um, I'm a lead by example type of guy, and uh, you know, I'm going to come in to the Rams organization, and uh, you know, I, I promise whatever they ask of me, I'm, I'll do to the best of my ability and with 100 percent effort and uh work ethic so you know i'm a head down grind lunch pail type of guy so um not much hooting and hollering but a lot of just work so you know as whatever they ask of me um i'll be ready to do that's awesome you know we love it we love talking to you and uh we're so excited to see what you do with the rams and uh you know we'll be cheering you on Thank you. Yeah, absolutely, Troy. Um, you know, definitely stay healthy and, uh, you know, good luck out there and uh, let's stay in touch, man. Thanks. Appreciate you having me on. Yeah, absolutely, man. Yep, have a good one, Troy. Take care. Thanks. You guys too.